President Trump making an unscheduled visit to Arlington National Cemetery today, where hundreds of volunteers are paying tribute to our fallen heroes this holiday season. It's part of an annual tradition carried out with wreaths across America. They work to pay tribute to our nation's fallen heroes by placing a wreath on each headstone. It's a tradition that happens every year, including here in the Valley. Team 12's Monica Garcia has more from Sun Mortuary Cemetery in Chandler, where more than a thousand wreaths were placed on grave sites this morning. To remember, to educate, and to honor the more than 2,700 veterans buried right here in this cemetery. And giving the gift of remembrance. We're here to honor our son, Lance Corporal Ryan Matthew Duncan. One wreath at a time means so much to the families of these fallen heroes. Cheryl and Brian Marston lost their son back in 2011. And he passed away while he was serving active duty in the Marine Corps. There's something to be said for carrying the grief amongst many shoulders. Uh, there's, there's a lot of loss and the weight of that loss sometimes can be unbearable. On Saturday, dozens of volunteers showed up to the Valley of the Sun Cemetery to honor and to lay wreaths for veterans. You know, it's really putting the wreath on the grave and remembering what they did because freedom wasn't free. An opportunity for the younger generation to get involved. Because we just like to want to thank them because they're they like did so much for us. And that their life wasn't wasted on something that we don't care about. Volunteers are encouraged to call out the person's name. James Levi Oler. To keep their memory alive. And he was in the U.S. Navy in the Korean War. Wreaths across America place wreaths on 1,500 veteran graves in Chandler. And although the pain of losing their son will never go away, say the Marstons, this outpouring of support helps. But when you see these other people out here helping you shoulder that load, then it's pretty amazing. Organizers say every year this event continues to grow, and that's all thanks, they say, to the volunteers you see out here. In Chandler, Monica Garcia, 12 News.